Hey friend, Jill Ortiz from JillOrtizFitness.com. I wanted to come to you today and warn you to stop overtraining. I want to focus on some proper training techniques and safety tips today to make sure that you're not putting yourself at risk for taking yourself out of the fitness realm and stunting your goals, okay? So you are probably not a fitness professional and your belief systems have been formed by what you see from your friends on social media, what they're doing, things you hear on Facebook groups and old information. So you might be feeling broken and like you've tried it all but are getting no success. So I want to address some big fitness myths and no-nos, all right? So number one myth, Doing more cardio and eating less calories is not going to get you leaned, toned, and strong. What it is going to do is end up with you feeling exhausted, skinny fat, and more prone to injury. Uh, my philosophy and quick advice is to lift more, eat more, cardio less. It's very broad. It's not a personalized plan, but it is going to help you gain more strength and get more towards that toned physique that you're really looking for, right? Myth number two, rest is for lazy people. No, it's not. Rest is for smart people. Don't be a hero. Take your rest days, your rest weeks, get sleep, give your body time to recover from the work that you're putting in. Without that proper repair time, you're just going to be prone to injury. So give yourself proper rest time and don't be a hero. All right, number three, Sweat and soreness are not indicators of a great workout. I've done great lifting workouts with very little sweat, and I eliminate most of my soreness with BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, which are the muscle repairers. They help so that your, your muscle is not breaking down, and they help to repair it back up. And what I like is that when you don't feel soreness the next day, you can come into your workout feeling stronger and hit that next workout with that same intensity. I want you to make sure you're eating enough after your workouts and that you're getting the right foods to repair your muscles. Also, do some yoga, get those stretches in, and work your muscles out before you go to bed, right? You're not a hero if you wake up sore. <laughs> the next thing is to have a trainer check your form or instruct you on form so that you're not doing moves wrong. What I hate is to see somebody doing a squat challenge, a push-up challenge, or, um, some kind of uh, crunches challenge where they're so proud that they're doing 100 crunches every day for 100 days. And if they're doing it wrong, then that is no good. You have to make sure that you're careful most of all of the shoulder joints and the knee joints. They uh, tend to have the most injury. Your shoulder joint is the most mobile of your joints. So it moves many different ways. And your knees are, you have to be careful of because your entire body is resting on that knee. And if you can think about like when you're walking up a flight of stairs, you're actually putting all of the pressure of your whole body weight on that knee joint. So you need to protect these joints. You have to make sure you're doing your moves properly because it's really not going to help you if you repeat the same moves over and over again and have improper form. The next tip is to vary your workouts. I don't want you working everything every day. I want you to periodize. It means that you're working different muscles, different days, different types of workouts in different weeks and months. You need to give your muscles a break and you need to give your body a break. Give it a chance to heal stronger and then you won't have to stop working out. And if you switch up your modalities of training, so your training style, lifting, cardio, yoga, kickboxing, change it up often and you're less likely to be hitting those same muscles too hard, right? And breaking them down. The last thing is I want you to be working in opposition. You can't say, oh, I want really strong biceps, so I'm just going to work biceps every day. You have to work the opposing muscles, which in that case would be your triceps. If you're working your chest, you have to work your back. If you're working your quads, you have to work your hamstrings. And if you're working the front of your core, you also want to work the back of your core to keep your body strong and, and eliminate any imbalances that you might be creating by overtraining one muscle and undertraining another. So use these tips, stay strong, confident, energized, and click below if you'd like to set up a call so that we can talk about how to take your journey to the next level. Take care.